Hello everyone and welcome to the studio. If you're new here, then hello, my name is Megan and today I'm going to show you my butterfly series paintings. I have eight to show you here, but there's actually nine total in the whole series. The first one just happened to be a giveaway prize. Starting off, this is the Milbert's tortoise shell. I actually have a video of me finishing it up. I had a live stream that I did on TikTok that I also uploaded here on YouTube. I'll leave a card up above if you want to check it out. It's a live stream though, so if you're not into long videos, you don't have to watch it, it's fine. The next butterfly I have is a pipe vine swallowtail. And once again, I have a video on this one actually, and it's not a live stream, so if you're not into long videos, you might actually be interested in this one. I will leave a card up above if you want to check this one out. This one is one of my favorites within the series, and it seems to be well-liked with other people as well. Moving along, the next butterfly I have is the Malachite butterfly, and I do have a video of me painting this one as well, and I will leave a card to it up above if you want to check it out. This one is also another one of my favorites. I just think that these butterflies have a really cool and interesting looking wing shape. The next one is the Colorado Hair Streak Butterfly, and funny enough, I really don't like this one. I feel like I didn't do that good on it, this one and the next one I'm going to show you. But to my surprise, they both sold out really fast, and I'm really glad about that. I'm happy that somebody else enjoys them enough to want them in their home. This one is the checkered white. Again, everything I said previously is exactly how I feel with this one. I'm not too happy with it, but I am really glad that somebody else liked it enough to want to buy it. This next one is my favorite out of the entire series. This is a Gulf Fritillary. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I don't say it right, but I absolutely love how this one turned out. I'm really proud of it, and I'm hoping that it gets sold to somebody and ends up in a home somewhere soon. This one is also another one of my favorites. It's a Diana Fritillary, and I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong again. I really love it. I love the color blue, so of course I'm gonna like it. And I also love how detailed it is. It's actually the very first one that sold when I started selling my originals, so I'm proud of that. I'm also happy that somebody enjoyed it enough to wanna buy it. The last one I have to show you is a Monarch Butterfly. I really love this one. I don't think it's my strongest, but I do think that it is very pretty, and I'm hoping that it sells sometime soon. At least at the time of me recording this video, it hasn't sold yet. If you happen to be interested in the paper that I used for this, I used the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press paper in 7 by 7 inches. I love this paper, not sponsored by the way. The only thing I don't like is that it's kind of hard to remove the paper from the block itself without damaging the paper underneath. I'm having to cut my series short, at least for the time being, because I ran out of paper. But once I get some more paper, I'm going to be continuing it, probably not as often as I was doing it, because I really don't want people to get bored of them. Or I might even start a different series of something else, maybe moths or something. I don't know, something different. At the time of me recording this video, I've sold four of these, the Diana Fritillary, the Checkered White, the Colorado Hair Streak, and the Pipevine Swallowtail. By the time this video is uploaded, I may or may not have some more butterflies left, and if I do, I'll let you know in the description box, so if you're interested, you can check that out. But again, by the time this video uploads, they all might be gone. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be packing these orders. With every order, I'm including a holographic swallowtail sticker, so that's pretty exciting. I am selling these on their own. I'll list my Instagram information on the side. If you're interested, you can go and check that out. I made a video recently on my TikTok account talking about how I pack my orders, but I will briefly talk about that here. They're all packed with a hard cardboard backing just to make sure that they don't get bent during shipping because I know that can happen and that's really disappointing. I'm also including a hand-painted thank you card and there's a writing on the back to the customer. And yeah, that's exciting. This one person actually bought two of my originals, so I'm excited about that and I'll probably insert a few extra stickers just for that. And that's pretty much how I package my stuff. Anyway, that's really all I have left to talk about. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay creative and be kind.